go on YouTube, gang. It's Mellow DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite plays for DraftKings and FanDuel for League of Legends. We got LPL and LCK plays for Saturday, July 11th. For everybody's having a great Friday, start up their weekend of cash. We got a lot of we got a lot of sports, y'all. We have NASCAR, we have MMA, we got we got uh, League of Legends, y'all. We Hey, we're gonna keep these videos pumping. So definitely uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Press that bell icon. Always stay notified for new videos coming to you. Cause I like to drop videos in different times of the day. Like I'm a busy person. So it might be times I might drop videos late at night. And so put that bell icon on because you won't miss a video if you have the bell icon on. So let's jump right into these matchups and get into this favorites plays. All right, going to the first game, we have Dragon X going against Dan Wine Gaming. All right, this is a coin flip. They're looking at a tough spot. Uh, Dragon X is, has a negative 114 favor with uh, Dan Wine Gaming has a, a negative 115 favor. So, but Dragon X so far for the season is 3 and 0 against them. But so if you want to take that in consideration, you want to go Dragon X once again. But of course they're gonna take that L. I really feel like it's one of those things where I feel like Dan Wan Gaming has better matchups, better. They're real competitive, so we're gonna have a tough time here. And I really, I really feel Dan Wan Gaming is that play. Uh, so in that first match, let's go to the second play. We have DMO versus Royal Warriors. Uh, so in this play, DMO. They're looking at a negative 120 and Rogue, they're looking at a negative 109. So they're looking at another top, uh, tough spot. They're looking at a coin flip here as well, but I really feel like DMO going to get there, going to try to get that bounce back and a great play. But of course, there's always room for upsets, but I still like uh, the Menace game, the Dominus Esports here in this play against Rogue. So going with that play there. All right, going to the third game, we got a great match for Top Esports and Fun Plus Phoenix. Top Esports, they're looking at a negative 263 here. FPX, they're looking at a plus 194. Of course, you could go contrarian, play FPX, but I really feel Top Esports name justifies, their, it just justifies their name. They're the top play for LPL. They also five and two for the series for the season. They were two and one record against them for the season. So like Top Esports, like this play regardless. Their, just their competitiveness and their communication, y'all, is no, like unlike no other on FPL. So I like that play for them. And going to the last game, we have a Freak of Freaks against, I think it's Sohei One Prince. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I always say Prince because I really don't know how to pronounce the name. But they're looking at a Freak of Freaks giving a landslide here. They're looking at a negative 417 to a plus, 20, uh, plus 297 for Prince here. But Freak of Freaks, I love this play for them. They should go two and no sweep easily. Uh, they got great players um, to look into. So let's jump right into it. Going to the first play. Going with a Freak of Freaks, we have Ken, which I like this play for him. Um, there's no more he could do, y'all. He has a easy matchup against his, his name is Esku, who has a three and thirteen record so far for the season. He has a three point four kill death and assist ratio with three kills a game, two point two deaths a game with an eight point four creep score per minute, sixty three point three percent in kill participation. That's a crazy amount, you know, for a top laner. You know, that's a great play. Sixty two hundred to me is a great play overall. And with and you also got to look at plays that could give you those two and no sweeps to give you those bonus rounds not played you know that definitely helps you out as you can see uh recently you know a lot of these lck games it's just in general like if they get a land you get a sweep i mean you got guys going almost 200 fancy points uh it's ridiculous so um like this play for ken and the freak of freaks already um great line, top laner in this play now if you want to go over some notables i do like 369 for top esports he's a great play I will also look into Shalizi. Uh, that's how you pronounce his name. Also for Dominus Esports, 6K, great spot to look into. He has a great matchup against Holder, in which Holder is not going to do anything. He has a 1.7 kill, death, and assist ratio. Ain't averages 4.3 deaths a game. So Shalizi should go off here if you want to look into a pivot and go with Shalizi at a cheaper price at 6K. All right, so those are my notables. Um, let's go to our next play. Going to the jungler. Of course, you got Carsa. He's in. The, he's the top. Um, 
top play in the jungler position but he's in a tough position um, as well I can really see a two and one in this play so if you want upside with this price tag to me it's not a really good upside but he could go, they could go off you know who knows how it rolls but he has a 6.1 kill death and assist ratio with 2.5 kills a game two deaths with a 9.8 assist that's crazy for a jungler he's out there doing what he got to do y'all he helps the team out he has a 5.1 crease score per minute with a 68.8 percent kill participation so carsa great play 7400 of course you're gonna you have to pay for that price but if you want to get some savings you got speed Great play for a freak of freaks um, in this play. He's 3.5 kill uh, death and assist ratio, but he has like 1.4 kills a game and he has more deaths. He has 2.4 deaths a game, but he has seven assists a game and he carries a, a 71.3 kill participation. So somebody could also look into for 7K. Another guy you could look in and look into is Canyon. I like this play for him. You know, he's the cheapest guy on the on the jungler spot. And if you want to go with damn one gaming like I do, 6K is a reasonable position. Uh, reasonable price. 8.1 kill death and assist ratio. Okay, he averages 8.4 assists a game. He does have a 2.4 kills a game with a 1.3 deaths a game. So he doesn't really get killed as much, which is that's also a plus. 5.8 kill uh, creep score per minute with a 67.2 kill depth and I'm sorry kill participation percentage so Canyon somebody you want to look into to help with your lines um, you want to go with that play I think so to help with your just getting a lot of top esports you know you need to look elsewhere to get those guys in all right of course mids gotta go with night this guy is a beast everyone knows that 9.6 kill death and assist ratio with 6.1 kills a game 1.9 1.5 deaths so he just goes around he this guy's a machine, y'all. I already told y'all. I'm going to call him Knight the Machine. It is what it is. 8.3 assists a game. This guy is the squad. He is the heart. He is the brain of the team. 9.1 creep score per minute. 80.7% in kill participation with a 34.4 kill share. This guy, obviously, is an easy captain play. A lot of people are going to look at those captain plays with Knight. Also with um, Jackie Love. Those two guys are... A team to be recognized, y'all. So Knight gotta go with this play. Knight and Jackie Love to me is like Michael Jordan and Pittman, to my opinion. And if you want to compare them, that's what <laughs> that's what I'll compare them to. All right, we want to look for some savings. I mean, of course you want to go for some savings. Uh, you got Showmaker. That is my guy, y'all. 6,400. He's too cheap. 16, 16.9 kill, death, and assist ratio. 4.3 kills. 0.7 deaths. This guy don't die. He just He's strategic, and he's confident, and he has the skills. Love this play. He doesn't really give upside, which sucks to me. I mean, but they're in a great play. But there's some, some, a lot of most of these games, he's hitting around 70, 80 fantasy points. But he, he'll occasionally give you that 100. But love this play for him. Um, he has 6.9 assists. He has 9 creep score per minute, 70.1% in kill participation, 27% in kill share. Showmaker. He, he brings the show, man. I love this play for him. If you want to look into that play, uh, a couple other guys you want to look into. We got Fly for Freak of Freaks. He is 7,400. Pretty expensive, but of course, you're looking at a landslide game like I, I like I think of. I think Fly is one of those plays you can look into. Of course, you want to go with the GPP. You got Tawilla, which to me, he's a tough play, man. This guy doesn't really do as much, but he's in a, he, but he is in an easier matchup since uh, Wooming for uh rogue is not i think rooming is uh, expected to start uh ruby is expected to sit in the first round most likely if he gets crushed a lot with tawilla then they're most likely going to switch him out in the second round to try to get some try to get that third round so just to keep you just keep in mind rooming is expected to start for rogue not ruby and uh, ruby is one of those guys where if ruby was playing that could be the factor of them winning in my opinion all right so Tawilla is a GPP play, uh, but for 7,200, I'd rather go down to the Showmaker. So, Love Knight, that's my guy. Captain play as well, look into him. 80 carry play, you got Jackie Love, obviously. 8K, this guy is, is he worth 8K? Yeah, I think so. 
Uh, he's 5.7 kill death and assist ratio with a 5.9 uh, kills. But he has 2.2 deaths with a 9.6 creep score per minute with 74.3% kill participation, 35% kill share. Love this play for Jackie Love. But you want some savings? I'll give you some savings. You already know how I am. Mystic, 7,800 is $200 less in the landslide game, in my opinion. Love this play. 4.9 kill death and assist ratio with 4.5 kills and he has less deaths than jackie love with 1.8 deaths and he carries a 10.5 creep score per minute love that love that from him 75.5 kill participation with a 38.3 kill share my guy mystic is that play for freaker freaks here 7800 is worth the price tag for what he could do here okay i think you got also for more savings you have um you got ghosts which mm, yeah i like zoo uh, i think his name is cuban or zubin um 7600 for him for dmo like that play if you want to go contrarian uh we're not contrarian want to go um lower own guys those guys i like there but i'm going mystic just to help out with the lines um so like mystic here all right and i do like jackie love so don't don't get me wrong i will have other plays but just my favorites that's the reason why i like to give you my favorites and notables because those notables are plays i'm still looking into for the rest of my other lines just because i'm giving you my favorite four i still want to give you other plays because obviously you know you got a lot of plays that are chalk and you got to look elsewhere so i'm giving you plays that's elsewhere to help you so just keep that in mind when i'm giving you these plays all right also you got the support side you got ben love ben for freaker freaks to help out with mystic easy play in my opinion um you got yuganjia great play to plug him in if you want to plug him with jackie love great support for him um you got also uh let's see you got barrel great play as well for ghost i love barrel he's one of the top tier uh, he's one of those top tier supports in lck i think it's lck yeah is it lck yeah it's lck sorry about that it's lck he's one of the top guys other than kira is him those two guys to me are the top uh support guys in the league so i like like him compare him put him here with showmaker and ghost those three guys something you can look into so those are my plays y'all like the four plays and the notables give a thumbs up any questions comment below um i like to talk with y'all and try to figure out strategies to help with your lines no problem also follow me on twitter all right so let's get into the fandle still same thing you got ken spirit knight jackie love switch it up gave you notables so that helps out so if you like the plays give a thumbs up also please subscribe new to channel and also man collect that bag as well it's metal Jeff vest and y'all stay blessed and i'll see y'all in the next video